Alright, we're back. Yeah. Man, that's spooky. Go down to this floor, the Geiger counter turns off, and the stream dies. All I'm saying, a little spooky. <laughs> yeah, Riot. <laughs> Must have been all the Pepsi in the air. Energy weapons, please. Okay, Geiger counter. First aid, yeah. Right away, yeah. Dean's electronics, sure. A tool, okay. Right away pills, yeah, I like those. Pulse grenades. I mean, like, I want to take them, but we just don't use it. Explosive rockets, AP rock, armor piercing rockets. Yes, but at the same time. Okay, I need a blue key card. Alright, there's a body and there's stuff we can't see in here. Let's go look for items hidden on the floor. Stream's back up, right? Herpes freaking me out. <laughs> door does not look legit. <laughs> the stealth ban. Extremely advanced computer, huh? How may I be of assistance? Um, who or what are you? I'm machine intelligence dedicated to research installation control. I'm called Zax. Um, what kind of research? I'm specifically programmed for research into biological studies, including pathology and genetic research. My primary function is an extrapolation of information of complexity levels exceeding human capacity. Uh, no, that's alright, Herpy. So you're pretty smart, eh? What are the particulars of your research? My research into forced evolution virus, or FEV. Aha! This is important. Indicates that it is a shifting absorp absorptive virus. It copies DNA patterns much like RNA. Storing these patterns in exons. I don't really know what exons. These exons, combined with FEV, are reinjected in the host cells in a typical viral infectious fashion. This causes host cells to regenerate their DNA. Oh, cool. How do you catch FEV? Is not caught per se. It's not air transmittable. Typically, infection is through injection or direct physical contact with an FEV sample. If it reinfects the host with assimilated viral patterns, how does it make it a better specimen? Oh god, don't remind me of the halting hunting rifle. FEV is pre programmed with introns of corrected DNA appropriate to the pro proper type of species. Therefore, attempts to correct the DNA of the individual. However, as the FEV is particularly reliant on the DNA of the individual, also includes portions of its own recursive code. The effects are unpredictable. When inoculated into an individual with significant genetic damage, such as through radiation, it will cause the body systems to suffer massive overhauling, lead to organ failure and death. Um. All right, Herbie. Generally, what I think, you know, Bor Borod's bang on there is like, let me get to the bottom of the place, and then when I start heading back up, you can say, oh, you missed, you know, an item um, here uh, in this room, in this room. But uh, first time through, I just I just want to see what we find, and then on the way back, you know, we can go ahead and clear everything. In a genetically viable individual, it rewrites portions of DNA, causing accelerated mutation, usually leading to recursive growth due to the FEV's own patterns. Okay, um, hmm. Sort of long term side effects we got going. Causes constant regenerative update to DNA. It would effectively render a subject largely immortal. Whoa. A cell death would be offset by augmented growth. Additionally, the gametes, the reproductive system, consist of half cells using split DNA. They could be perceived as damaged by FEV, which would pair them, rendering the subject sterile. Hmm. Can't take his word for it. Okay. 
Um, want to play a game of chess? I need additional practice, huh? All right. Tell me about this installation. West Tech Research Facility. Founded 2002 as a private contractor for the United States government. The company initially consisted of two divisions. The, expand, the Advanced Weapons Research and Biomedical Sciences Division. 2069. Well, that's a long time. West Tech was the single largest contractor for the United States government. The largest contract being Powered Infantry Armor Model T-51B. In light of significant advances in 2076 by the NBC and the Pan Immunity Virian Project, the United States Defense Department, in fear of international espionage, moved a team onto the site to secure and oversee the project. Now dubbed the FEV. Oh, God. <sighs> Obamacare. It's the FEV. I knew it. Um, huh, okay, tell me about the particulars. My sensors are currently non-functional in the surface facility, and on subterranean levels 1 through 3, I can, however, provide descriptions level 4 through 6. Ah, yes. We're on level 4, so tell me. <clears throat> Research, good. Contains testing areas and laboratories for experiments. Okay. Level 5. Secure testing labs contains a lab for experimental prototype testing and a research lab for classified subjects. Alright, we'll have to check that out. Level 6. Barracks and central operations contains living facilities for lab personnel and guard contingents. Okay. Well, thank you. Way to be a computer. It's a very modern looking computer. Debatable. Modern maybe when Fallout came out, but uh I wonder if I can examine that medical table. Cause this is where all the research happened. This place here. Suspension tanks. Can we open that? Science it. I mean, I can't get there. I'm right in front of a doctorate. Hmm. What's up, Herpy? Yeah, I know. Floor 6 probably has all the guns. Oh, I can see some um, lockers. What do we got? Okay, I don't know why rockets are there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know in Canada it was taken over by America because everyone ran out of stuff, yeah. Okay, leather jacket. Take the books. Uh, what do I drop? Um. Probably just some of this ammo. Let's be real, we don't need quite that much. Oh, I don't know why I picked up a leather jacket. I don't need that. Can I use the book from in here? No. Just fair enough. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to make the assumption we need the crowbar, or else why would they give it to us? Better dead than red, and yeah, death is preferable alternative to communism. Yeah, democracy is non-negotiable. Please don't attempt the vote on democracy. Okay, new science information, good. Which I don't really need. Dean's electronics. Oh, that's repair. Oh, probably should have taken that earlier then. I thought it would have been something else. Like electronic skill? I don't know. Second call of Cthulhu, I guess. How's my uh, rads? Seven. Doable. Okay, I don't see anything else here right now. We have a blue card key. Are you blue? Oh, do we go down here or do we take the main elevator? Let's take this one, I guess. 
Yes, we're in the glow, yeah. Good eye, Mr. Uh, Plasma. Elevator's inoperable. Okay, so we need more power. We need unlimited power, actually, but we don't have access to that. Can I page down? <sighs> I hate that about a game. When just your brain goes like, hey, other DOS games have page down as a hotkey. I could have saved my wrist, my fingers. Ah, whatever. We figured it out now. I knew there was hotkeys. Oh, we're on floor four. Yeah, three, four, and six. Okay. So this is the guard uh, area here. Hope the robots don't wake up if we turn on the power. Oh, you. A small energy cell and stim pack, I like. Energy weapon is good. It is our friend. Is that the generator? Yeah, okay. Right away, sure. Just a pixelated bowl of rice. A plasma pistol. Uh, we don't actually need you, um, unfortunately. As tempting as you are, because you're probably worth money. Guaranteed you're worth money. Um, do we just drop all our bullets because we don't need them? I think so. That's fine. It's level 6. Sorry, Plasma. We, we got the alien blaster, so we don't really need the plasma pistol. Let's try and fix this bad boy. Power management. Primary power. Reinitialize. Diagnose. Service needed. Okay. That's a generator. We have a tool. We can't get the level 5 until we get the power up, dude. We're trying. Use a repair kit here. We failed to start it. Damn. That's nothing. Nice! 1000 XP. Primary power. Reinitialize. Please don't turn on all the laser guards. Okay. That's good. Also, I can see again. Wow, what a difference. You see the remains of a peasant looks down nose at corpse. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm really worried about these uh, robots, though. Person in power armor. <laughs> Doesn't really look like it, but... And some guy with a 10 mil. Like, that's a real weapon. Shit. Well, target out of range. Really? What's the range on a plasma pistol? Apparently junk. Yeah, wow. Well. Or, uh, alien blaster, I guess. Frame hit, correcting for damage. Yeah, that's right, Robbie. Get dunked. Holy hell, that's a fast one. Okay. Okay. Well, now that they're dead, we can loot them. Yeah, alien blaster is jack diddly for range. Agreed. Well, let's check how that compares to the plasma pistol. Oh, range of 10. Oh. Wow. Only range of 20 on the plasma pistol, though. Like, I can understand that. I mean, throwing plasma is a bit of a hard thing, but 15 to 35 damage, or 30 to 90. Uh, which just means the BB comes back out, because 32 range cannot be argued with. Uh, 
Alright, here we go. Floor 5. Time to get spooky. Okay, open the door. Shoot it! Before the door opens. Nice. Wrecked it with a BB gun. Oh, hell. Those ones see me somehow. Oh, you'll notice, um... No, never mind. I thought there was a missing elevator, but of course there is. <laughs> somehow I aggroed the entire floor. Which is fascinating, really. I feel like I might need that alien blaster. Wait when you're about to leave level 5. Okay, I will. Don't worry. Let's try and get there first, Herpy. So I'm a little scared. Sure, yeah. Like, I mean, I, I do really appreciate that. Like, um... Like, finding out where stuff is after the fact. Honest. Okay, alien blaster ready. Let's see. One thing. Two things. Probably thing here. Three... Two lockers, crap load of lockers on that side. That's all I see for stuff. Oh, how's my aim blocked, really? Nice. Bzzz. Yeah, get, get exploded on real quick. Are you the last uh, robot? No, oh, there's two. Oh, I missed. Oh, that's not good. Missing is very bad. Cannot compute maple syrup. Actually, we went to a store today and they've got uh, official. Captain Canuck brand uh, maple syrup, which is kind of funny. Captain Canuck, of course, being a, a Marvel superhero. 1,425 XP. Ooh. What we got? Sniper rifle, don't care. Like, if they have sniper rifles, why don't they um, shoot at me? I feel like that's a fair question. Oh, hey, buddy. Didn't see you there. Get BB'd. Okay, I can turn off the primary power. I see that's one way of dealing with the robots then. These robots are in MLG phase enough to use the rifles, yeah. That's fair. What do we got? Okay, well, we need the uh, hollow disc. That's good. Okay, right away, sure. Stimpak, sure. I guess we take the first AK. I don't really use them, but uh, probably a good thing to have. Must be using human NPCs frame to rig the rifles. 
Oh, okay, that's cool. Uh, I, you know what, like, playing this almost makes me want to play Fallout 3. Because I didn't, I didn't love it when I first played it, but... I mean, um... I'm really enjoying, I, I, like, I really like the Fallout universe. Yeah, this is floor 5. And I'd really like to play Fallout 2, but... Unfortunately, it would just take too long. <sighs> well, combat armor is worth a lot of money. We know that. Um, guns and bullets. That's pretty cool. But uh, it doesn't do us anything. Micro fusion cell. Yeah. Plasma rifle. Yeah. Hello. I think we leave behind laser rifle for it. Okay, we don't need the crowbar. Uh, what do I gotta drop for you? I already dropped all our ammo. Does right away cost inventory? No. I know these first aid kits do, though. I don't know what the difference is. Some stack and some don't. Hmm. Take the plasma rifle instead of laser rifle. I have not. What? Whoa! I don't know what happened there. Whatever. Whatever. Game broke. It's fine. We'll leave all our, our first aid kits here. I am totally okay with that. I haven't used a rocket launcher. I've just seen them. Laser pistol. I don't think we need that with a laser blaster. Uh, I really want to take that ammo though. Oh yeah, rope. Motion sensor, Geiger counter, stealth boy. Do you weigh anything? No. Cool. Oh man, so much ammo for these laser weapons that I desperately need. Um, game is hard. Rad X, do you weigh anything? No, I know the tool does. Not enough. Alright, screw the Geiger counter. No, really. How much do these things weigh? Too much. Uh, drugs don't weigh anything. Otherwise, fair option. Let's see if that does weigh something. Because I only need one stealth boy. Yeah. That's fine. I think they're cool, but I've never really used it. Probably not going to use it until the very end of the game. Oh man, like this is how you get rich. A minigun. Whew! Minigun though, eh? Hoarder in me is getting really angry. Cool, and a hollow disc. Oh, of course. Okay, well, let's learn this stuff here. Inject it into our brain. Nah, dude, we don't want the minigun. The minigun's terrible. We've had it used against us, it's not very good unless you crit. Because then it bypasses armor. But uh, it's very like slow. You know what I mean? Doesn't really do a lot. I don't know, maybe I'm in the minority here. Uh, 
But it looks awesome. I don't know, dude. Yeah, we like we got a plasma rifle and stuff. Like, what more do we need? We've got BB gun, an alien blaster, and a plasma rifle. Like, I don't think we really need. Okay, here's a laser rifle. 25 to 50, 30 to 65. Way more range though on the laser rifle. Um, but that's probably okay. Plasma caster, huh? Uh, this thing's 17 pounds. A Winchester model P94 plasma rifle, industrial grade energy weapon, firing superheated bolts of plasma down a superconducting barrel. Strange gun of obviously alien origin. And of course, the best. A true classic. The Red Rider Limited Edition. BB Guano. You can literally be a Warhammer 40k Terminator. <laughs> no, I can't. They, um. Terminators, like, one hand them, dude. They're called the Salt. Salt Cannons? I think so. I think we're fine without the minigun though. Oh, damn it. I hate this card thing. Oh well. So did I miss anything, Herpy? I feel like I got pretty much everything. Um, feel free to let me know though. Oh shit. Of course, now we gotta kill all the little guards. Yeah. The big problem with the, um, like, minigun herpy is. A, I don't have the ammo for it. Like, I can get the ammo, no problem. But, like, I don't have any strength on my character. So, I don't have any companions to carry anything, so. And, yeah, we did. We played chess and lost. I just don't want to waste any more time in here in case we run out, like, our rads uh, run out. I can try it again, though. Why is a, ri why is a robot running away? So what is that? I just noticed it. A chair. No, I don't know about that. The annoying thing, too, is I want to kill all these robots now. Um, because they give off really good like, money. Or, like, experience, sorry. Like, yeah. Probably level up in here. Hello, Mr. Robot. Play a game of chess. Excellent form. Right, let's try one more. No. Oh, we get it hot wired? Whoa! It's awesome. Alright. We'll keep trying to beat this guy. Uh, are you sure we can beat this guy, Herb? Oh man, my radiation's gone like crazy up though. Yeah, we tried. Grant me access to the mainframe, huh? Main menu. Power terminus. Security information. 
Oh, I can deactivate security robots. Okay. Access denied, of course. <laughs> Research information. Let's get all the personnel ref records. I'm assuming these people are, um, people that worked on... Oh, download the records, yeah. Power armor status complete. Download the records to Pip-Boy. FEV virus, yes. Download records to Pip-Boy. Security information, nope. Base information, main menu. Nice. Bring your own Zack supercomputer to play chess against it. Yeah, <laughs> that's how you do it. Um, there's always the the option of see how smart the computer really is, and threaten it. Um, I feel like that is a fair option as well. Not really looking forward to um, fighting these robots, but kinda for the XP. Let's see what we do. There were some here, right? Yeah, they're there. It's great damage, but single shot only? What? Not the one we have. It's got like 10 shots, doesn't it? It's so weird how, like, the shot hangs in the air for a second. I'm not sure if you guys know what I'm talking about, but it's weird. I feel like we're in a pretty strong place right now in the game. Oh, crit for 94. Hell yeah. Yeah, you better run. Anything good? Nope. Anything good? Nope. <laughs> nice thing is we can always teleport out of here um, afterwards. Or like teleport back to here rather. And uh, pick up stuff if we need it. Oh, this one didn't require a thing. I don't think there's any robots here, was there? Yeah. So I'm just going to go here and kill the robots for XP. Five AP, the fire once. It's actually impossible to beat him at chess. Great. Um, five AP, four for the hot wired one, the fire once. Well, the thing is borrowed. Um, We got a bit of an interesting thing going on here. If you notice, we have um, fast shot. So we actually, it would only cost us three to fire. Uh, so we can get off three shots around. It's pretty cool. And actually, I took the um, frickin' better criticals perk, which is not what I wanted. Which is very frustrating to me. I wanted to take the faster firing perk. Damn, that's annoying. Nice, leveled up. Energy weapons, yeah, put that up. Good. 
But yeah, that's really annoying. I desperately wanted to increase my, um, like, even faster firing. But oh well, it's fine. We'll get a next perk. Assuming there's nothing good at level 12. Which I'm sure there may be. Take this rope out of here. BB, excellent. Alright, to the hub. To sell some stuff. Actually, I suppose um, we could just go right to the boneyard. Let's check all this stuff out. What is this? Old battle zone. Okay. Weird. Creepy. Ten millimeter AP, no thanks. Not in love with that idea. Oh, I can't scroll down now. That's annoying. cool. I mean, I'm, I'm happy for it. The thing is, we only use uh, firearms anyway, so it's not a big deal for us. Oh my god, not rats, please. Yeah, guy in power armor hits a rat for five points of damage. Not very likely. 25 XP, though. Huge. Whoa, we started going really fast there. Guess we were running downhill. I'm a fast shot with a spear. a boy, Herpy. We are a BB gun master, so... I'm honestly tempted to, um, cave rat on the surface. I don't think it's a cave rat anymore, sir. Whoa, dude. Oh, we got poisoned. Hell no. Although we do have the, uh, first aid skill pretty high now, so. You look healthy already. Well, actually, I'm poisoned. I can't really affect that. Okay. We'll just have to deal with being poisoned then. Hmm. Coast. Oh, cool. There's a lot of cars in there. It's interesting the game doesn't know how to like path around something. Oh, suddenly attacked by rats. Oh no. How horrifying. Right, boneyard, let's check out um is here. Okay. Stern man is 30s. Okay. Just keep your weapons away while you're in. T oh, damn it. I hate that. Be of assistance. Yes. <laughs> you have the luck of someone important. I'm Caleb. I train and organize the regulars here. Hmm. Have a nice day. Thanks. 
there's a lot of stuff going on in this town. Oh, there's so many characters and stuff. Alright. Alright, that's it. I'm done for the night. Um, I think we're almost done the game though. We're doing pretty good. I have to call it here, I'm afraid. Before I'm too tired. Better Creek is like okay, but you know, I still feel like I balls that up. Really want to shoot faster. But oh well. It's fine. No, we have our like guns at two AP to shoot, which is insane. These weigh anything? Oh, one pound each, of course. But yeah, good night, guys.